this is how I would like Australian agriculture to be. Producing food and fibre that was at a high quality, that people wanted to buy, that we were proud to grow. The production of Bolgard has allowed more life to live on our farm. We have life in our crops, we have life around the crops, and people who work on the farm can, can live a life that doesn't have them exposed to the use of harsh chemicals. It's a quality of life issue, and it's if you choose to be in agriculture, you can choose to live without hard chemistry. I think it's important to have your mind open to new things. Since the beginning I was very enthusiastic working in high technology. If we didn't have technology, I wouldn't be working on farm. I like investigation, I like farming with new expectations. As time goes by, Whoever doesn't adopt any new technology, I think, will be left behind. It's brought a very important cultural development to the area. It's had an effect on the standard of living for many of the people here. The first thing we need to think of is human beings. In order to be a better father, I would need many more things than biotechnology. But without a doubt, I think that for the family it's helped. It's also changed the amount of free time that one has and means fewer worries day to day. It surprises me. It's a very, very important change. Yes, to us farmers, biotech is really important because it has benefited us with bigger harvest. With bigger harvest, we get higher incomes. Since corn farming is no longer as laborious with yield guard, I now have time to take my wife to school and back. Same thing with my children. I told my son to, well, uh, to talk seriously about uh, education. She's just three years old now. Uh, by, I could put some money in the bank from the harvest from the corn so that uh, when the time he, he go to the school, he got already money in the bank to, to sustain the school. When I was using the conventional method of planting corn, we yielded 60 cabans from a hectare, so I only got a little. Then after seeing this biotechnology, I decided to try it myself. When I planted one hectare, it yielded 150 cabans, which is more than double what I harvested before. That's when our livelihood becomes stable and we were able to save and build our new house. What is important for me is what Yilgard has done to our livelihood. I don't want to benefit from it alone. I want my co-farmers and all the other farmers in the country to experience the good life just as we are. <laughs> Before I planted Yield Guard, I'd be so tired I could not even bring myself to give her a hug. Especially after spring. Now there's no problem like that. I can even kiss her now. I thought it was impossible to build a big house, but with biotech, we got what we have been dreaming for, for so long. So before I die, when I die, my grandchildren can proudly say I left them a legacy for my corn farming. That is my dream. Over the last 10 years, so many farmers in our area, and I think this is throughout the United States, have come to realize the, that we have had an impact upon the environment, no doubt. And they had the mighty Mississippi right near us. Farmers are taking that very seriously and, and want to do something about it. And with the potential of uh, biotechnology and reducing pesticide amounts on the landscape and into the water systems, 
is, is a good thing for all of us. So in our way, we're addressing those problems that are critical to the society at large of clean air and clean water. And, and I like knowing that, and I want to be part of that. I don't want to fish in a polluted stream. I don't think anybody else does. So we're going to make some headway there, and, and agriculture will be a driving force in cleaning up the country. There's a misperception out there about who is producing the food today, and, and uh, our, our farm is very typical of the type of farm that is producing the bulk of the food for the world, I believe. Uh, it is a family farm. My son farms, my brother farms with me. We're very careful about what we do in terms of safety, be it crop safety or, or safety in our own, you know, for ourselves. Through the advent of genetic modification of plants, which is allowing us to minimize our chemical use and so on, we've actually improved consumer safety tremendously. And, and I'm sure of this, there's not a case in the world where there's been any health problems associated with biotechnology. We no longer have to till the fields to control weeds, where we used to have to till two, three times. Uh, and, and use more diesel and, and, and jeopardize the soil to more erosion. Now we're through crop rotation and minimum till or no till. Most of our crop this spring will be seeded with one pass. It just has eliminated the number of trips over the field. At one point here about uh, two years ago, my wife came up and gave me a hug and says, you know, what is it? We farm even more acres than you used to. Yet, it seems like we have more free time and it's like we're more of a family and we have more time together. I said, you really want to know? It's biotech. And I just can't imagine sitting on my porch someday in my rocking chair telling my grandkids that I fought biotech. To me, it'll sound as absurd as saying I fought Louis Pasteur or I fought Thomas Edison. My father lived through a very exciting time but I really think that I'm probably going to live through a much more exciting time because we're starting to see this rapid change. We're looking at the crop growing at a faster rate, so this means that this is freeing up a lot of crop for the ethanols and for the uh, new plastics and all the new things that are coming. So I'm very glad that it's happening in a state like Iowa. Uh, you know, we like to say we are an energy state by what we grow. We're growing energy. But as far as around the world, I think it's an absolute necessity that a lot of places have got to be able to raise more food per acre. Most people in the world, and we have to remember we're a small part of the world, they have to worry about feeding their families and, and their future generation. I just don't think the old conventional way of farming is going to do it. We're going to have to continue to use biotech.